So the LA Rams released their new logo and their new uniforms. And of course, I, the top one percenter, the people's sportscaster, blessed by a sports fan with my own NFL authentic on-field jersey, figured why not? Let's make a video about it because I will say something that no one else will say. And that's, it doesn't matter because the Rams Super Bowl window has officially closed. So they can enjoy their billion dollar stadium and their new logo and their new uniforms. And of course, blue is one of my favorite colors. It looks kind of snazzy. So I'm going to make sure to post some pictures like the ones that you're going to look at right here. So I must say, those are some snazzy-looking jerseys. Let me know what you think about them. Make sure you're dropping a comment below and liking this video. And if you're still watching this video, make sure you subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to stay notified for any and all upcoming future videos. Now, the sad reality is that the LA Rams are going to move into their SoFi billion-dollar stadium, which they'll be sharing with the Los Angeles Chargers, who finally got rid of that loser, Philip Rivers, but unfortunately the Rams are also stuck with a loser at quarterback, and his name is Jared Goff and Sean McVay. Their window, their offense has closed. They got rid of Gimpy Todd Gurley. They let go of Brandon Cooks. They let go of Clay Matthews. So now there will be nothing left. People tend to forget but again, I, the top one percenter, the people sportscaster who will say what the nationwide sports leader, what the foxies, what the corporate shells who've sold their soul for the almighty dollar are afraid to say is that the Rams are not going back to, they're not going to win the Super Bowl. They had their chance and they blew it in a miserable, disheartening, dispirited, 13-3 loss to the New England Patriots. So, and plus, do the Rams even have a fan base? Let's be real. This video might not probably get any likes and comments because I don't even know anyone who's a Rams fan because all the real Rams fans were abandoned in fucking St. Louis when the owner picked up and moved out of town. So it doesn't even matter. The sports historian has to note it in the annals of sports history, that today, May 14th, 2020, the NFL is promising, the NFL is hoping, the NFL is starting to try to get their season going off without a hitch. So let's break out the new logos. Let's break out the new uniforms. And you know what? Again, if there are no fans in attendance, that's fine. NFL, make sure you do what you need to do because I, like Derek Tyler, we are ready for some football! Till next time, sports fans nationwide. Lex Anderson, signing out.